Welcome to my CBSC English teacher. Today, let's learn the chapter On the Face of It by Susan Hill from Class 12 Visitors. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. You can watch videos pertaining to classes 10, 11 and 12. And don't forget to press the notification button so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. About the author Susan Hill is an English author of fiction and non-fiction works. Her novels include The Woman in Black, The Mist in the Mirror and I am the King of the Castle for which she received Somerset Mom Award in 1917. Let's look at the theme of the chapter. Appearances are deceptive and most often we go on dealing with impressions and prejudices about others without bothering to know them. The play deals with a sense of loss, a sense of isolation and how to overcome it. The actual pain caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the sense of alienation felt by the person. The title, on the face of it, is used to mean that something seems to be good, true, etc. But that needs to be changed when you know more about it. Introduction the story is about a teenage boy, Derry, who has a burnt face and Mr. Lamp, who is a disabled old man with a tin leg. Derry accidentally enters his garden so that he can hide himself from people who hate him because of his ugly face. Mr. Lamp does not only welcome him in his garden but also encourages him to lead a normal life leaving behind his past. Here is the summary of the chapter. Derry a young boy of 14 enter Mr. Lamb's garden hesitantly. When he comes out of the bushes, he is surprised to hear Mr. Lamb talking to him. Mr. Lamb warns him about the crab apples that usually fell in the long grass from the tree. Derry was shocked on hearing a voice. Mr. Lamb introduced himself and also said that small sour apples known as crab apples had fallen on the ground. If Derry would not be careful while walking through the grass, he could trip over them and get hurt. Derry said that he didn't know that someone was present in the garden. He thought it to be empty and even the house seemed empty to him. Mr. Lamb tried to comfort him by saying that the house was empty as he was out in the garden. He also asked him not to be afraid. Derry wanted to leave the place. Mr. Lamb tried and to stop him and said that there was no need to leave the garden just because of him. He also told him that he kept the gate open for people. It was only Derry who jammed the wall. Derry got angry for being pointed at like that. He also clarified that he hadn't come to steal anything from there. Mr. Lamb agreed by saying that many times apples had been stolen by young boys and that Derry was not so young. But still, Derry wanted to live. Mr. Lamb told him not to be afraid of him and asked him to stay there for a while. Derry told him that he was not afraid of anyone, rather people were afraid of him. Lamb asked him the reason for that. He told him that he knew what people thought and how they behaved in front of him. Mr. Lamb questioned him about what others thought of him. Derry said that people got scared on seeing his face. Some considered it bad or ugly, while some took pity on him by saying that he was a poor boy. He added that they were fake. Actually, they all were afraid of his face. He even got scared of his own face when he looked into the mirror. He added that Mr. Lamb will also pity him, but in his heart he will also be scared of Derry. Mr. Lamb said that he wasn't afraid of Derry. Derry was shocked to hear that. Then Mr. Lamb told him that he would bring a ladder and stick and pick fine and ripe crab apples as they made a good jelly. He also told him that in September, they get ripe and become a magic fruit having orange and golden color. He also asked him to join him in doing so. Derry pointed him for changing the topic just like other people did. He added that Mr. Lamp didn't ask him about his face because he was afraid of asking about it. 
Derry got annoyed and said that he did not like the company of people. Mr. Lamb guessed that maybe his face got burnt in some fire. Derry told him that it was due to acid that had burnt half of his face. He was so sad that he kept on repeating that acid ate his face and that it would never get cured. Mr. Lamb did not agree with him. Derry thought that he was not interested in his story. To this Mr. Lamb said that he was interested in each and every creation of God. He pointed out at a wall and asked him what he saw beyond it. Derry replied that there were weeds or unwanted plants. Mr. Lamb explained that there were a number of plants in his garden. There were flowers, trees and herbs. Some plants were considered good and some were called weeds. It was not because they were different. All of them were green in color. It was about how people considered them to be herbs or weeds. In reality, they all were same just like Derry and himself. Derry did not agree to this. Mr. Lamb told him that there was no difference. He was young and Mr. Lamb was old. He had a burnt face and Mr. Lamb had a tin leg. Derry asked him the reason behind his tin leg. He replied that it got damaged in an explosion many years ago. Kids teased him by calling him Lamey Lamb. Derry said that that he could cover the tin leg with his trousers so that no one could see it. Mr. Lamb said that it did not bother him and people would get tired of teasing him and would start discussing something else. Mr. Lamb suggested that things like crab apples, weeds, spiders and all tall sunflowers could also be some of the other things that people would probably look at and discuss. Derry commented that other things mentioned by Mr. Lamb were just things. Mr. Lamb replied that all the things were related to each other. just like beauty is related to bees that is a beautiful creation is related to ugliness derry was confused mr lamb asked for derry's opinion derry replied that often he had heard people saying that beauty is not related to one's appearance rather inner beauty is our real beauty he said that once a beautiful girl loved a beast for who he was and kissed him which turned the beast into a handsome prince this makes derry understand that ugliness is only skin deep a man is not what he looks like but what he really is handsome is that handsome does the story is to inspire derry and he should not care for his burnt face but derry tells that people stare at his face and they are afraid of him Derry tells Lamb that women talk of his ugly face. They say that none will kiss except his mother. Mr. Lamb tells him that he must have heard so many other things also. The best thing is to keep ears shut and need not pay attention to such talks. Mr. Lamb talks about the bees in his garden. Some people like their buzzing while others hate, but Lamb calls it a sweet music. It is only the difference of attitude. Derry tells that people stare at his face so he avoids them. But Mr. Lamb tells that keeping alone is not a fine thing. He tells a story about a man who was always afraid of being run over or getting infected or meeting with some accident. So he locked himself in a room. There was a picture that fell on his head and killed him inside the room. Derry says that his family often talks about him downstairs when he is not there. They are worried to think what is going to happen to him when they are gone and how he will get on in this world. Mr. Lamb does not agree with him. Lamb encourages him that he has got two arms, legs, eyes, ears, a tongue and a brain. He can achieve whatever he likes. He can be better than others. He tells Derry that he has got a full body and that can be better than others too. He can do anything like other people or may do better than others. He asks Lamb several questions to know more about him. Mr Lamb says that he sits in the sun and reads the books. He likes the windows open to hear the wind. Lamb tells that he has a lot of friends everywhere. 
Everybody who comes in his garden is his friend. Derry wonders how a person can be his friend about whom he knows nothing. Derry says that there are some people he hates. But Lamb remarks that hatred would do more harm than any bottle of acid. Acid only burns our face or so, but hatred can burn us away inside. Lamb asks him to be a friend. Derry asks how can they be friends only in one meeting. But Lamb tells him that he can come there any time even if he is out. Derry thinks to help him. He tells Lamb that with one leg he can fall off a ladder and die. Derry offers to help him but he wants to inform his mother where he is since she will be worried. Lamb doubts if he would ever come back. Derry assures him to return but Lamb says to himself that people never come back though they say that they will come back. Derry goes back to his house and tells everything to his mother. Derry says that he wants to go there, sit and listen to things. Nobody else has ever said the things the old man has said. His mother stops him from going to the old man's house. She tells that she has heard strange stories about the old man. She urges him not to go there again. Derry insists that he must go there otherwise he will never go anywhere in this world. In spite of his mother's strong resistance, Derry slams the door and runs away to help Mr. Lamb in collecting the crab apples. In the meantime, Mr. Lamb climbs on the ladder for the apples. The ladder falls back and Mr. Lamb is killed. Derry opens the gate and says excitedly that he has come back. Suddenly, he catches the sight of Mr. Lamb. He runs through the long grass and says, I came back, Lemmy Lamb, I did come back. But there is no response. Derry kneels by him and weeps and realizes that he has lost his only friend in this world. Question and Answers Question number 1. Who is Derry? What self-opinion does he hold? Answer Derek, also called Derry, was a young boy of 14. He was quiet, shy and defiant boy. One side of his face was totally burnt by acid. He was a victim of an inferiority complex. Question number 2. Why did Derry's mother stop him from going to Mr. Lamb? Answer. Derry's mother does not hold a good opinion about Mr. Lamb. She had heard many things about the old man, therefore stops Derry to visit Mr. Lamb. Question number 3. How does Lamb try to remove the baseless fears of Derry? Answer. Mr. Lamb influences Derry with his optimistic philosophy and advised him not to give attention to others' comments. He should try to be internally pure and strong, which could help him eliminate the negativity of life. He also told him many things that nobody ever told him. I hope you like this video. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to my CBSE English channel. Like, share and give your valuable comments. Thank you for watching.